Welcome back. So this is going to be a new Unit 1 playlist because the other one I had to take down. I'm not allowed to read from books apparently. So anyways, before we actually start the content, what I wanted to do first was give you guys some information on where you can find free stuff. So this is the Pearson website here. And when you go onto the website, you're going to, I'll put the link in the description. You're going to want to go to course materials here. And the main thing you're going to want to focus on is where it says specification and sample assessment. And you can look at the, a few other things as well, but I'm going to mainly be focusing on this. So I'm going to click on that first link and I'm going to go down to specification, right? You can get assessment materials here, but we're not going to focus on that just yet. I'm going to click on the arrow and I like to download the one that says national extended diploma. Reason being, this actually gives you every single unit that you could do in IT, whereas the others, they leave out a few because that's a certificate one but it's the same content, okay? So I'm going to go look for unit one on here. So to do that, by the way, um, once you have your PDF open, you could go here and you could probably do find in page, or sorry, it's that one there, find in page, or it's just called find here. Or I use a shortcut, control F, and I type unit one. Then I can simply press enter to cycle through until I get to that unit one heading. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is focus on every single point in this document here. So even if you don't think you're getting enough information from your teacher or from Google, what you can do is come in here and this covers every single point that could potentially be on the exam. Right, so here we have Unit 1 Books. This is the book that has quite a few of the units that you're going to be doing in BTEC IT. I believe the ones that I've done are Unit 1, 2, 3, 4 six and a few others i don't remember all of them but this book here is going to be the one you're going to want to use mainly for unit one honestly you don't need this one for unit one if you just get the revision guide this can give you every single thing you need to pass the exam and potentially get a distinction if you can read it understand it memorize what you need to memorize and follow um, the activities that they have there all right so unit one is an exam unit it is two hours and it's called information technology systems. We need to understand computer systems, the implications of their use in personal and professional, meaning commercial businesses, stuff like that. So the assessment outcome. So we have AO1 all the way through to five. So for AO1 is technical terms, standards and concepts. For AO2, you have to then apply that knowledge, apply those technical terms, standards and concepts. For AO3, we have to make, select and use technology and procedures. AO4, we have to analyze and evaluate. And AO5, we have to make connections. We have to know how to link things. How does this link to that? Why does this link to that? So it is a content-heavy unit, so I do recommend you guys pay attention. If you're not someone who was quite good with IT before, then this might be a shock to some of you guys because it's so content-heavy. I will put this one in the description, right? It has both an Amazon Kindle version, so just a software version, and it has a paperback version. I do have Amazon affiliate links, so I will put them in the description. All that means you get the book for exactly the same price. When you buy the book, I might get a couple pennies when you purchase the book, okay? But you pay exactly the same amount, and this is a book I highly, highly, highly recommend. Even if you're following my videos, even if you're doing stuff in college or in school, still get this book. Even if you don't want to use my link, that's perfectly fine. I've been over this book and it gives you every single thing you need to pass unit one and it does it to a very high standard as well. So again, I will be creating content from the spec. Not all my PowerPoints or not all my information on here will have a PowerPoint. At times I might just highlight these points and speak about them rather than creating a PowerPoint because that takes two, three times as long to do and I'd rather get these videos out quickly and I think most people prefer to listen than to watch because it's just me presenting the information. I'm not doing anything special, all right? So again, I will be using the spec. I'll be using points from the spec. I highly recommend you guys download the spec as well so you have the pointers. So just in case I miss something, your teacher misses something, or you don't quite understand how things flow logically for this um, exam, you can go here, you can have a look at it, you can say, okay, so for example... Um, we have multifunctional devices. What comes after that? Personal computers, mobile devices. Okay, what is an actual server? How do servers work? So I recommend downloading this and getting the book. 
and you should be good for unit one. So my next video is going to be AO1, where we actually speak about digital devices and their use. So please stay tuned for that one. Thank you for watching. Thank you.